The UCD has the only veterinary school on the whole island of Ireland, north and south. Our programme here is very special because in their final year of their programme our students spend all of their time really in our own veterinary hospital here on the Belfield campus. And what that gives them is this, uh, it gives them over a period of time confidence in their ability to handle animals, to do processes like blood sampling, taking x-rays, it kind of gets them used to clinical terminology, it gets them used to seeing a whole spectrum of disease, a whole spectrum of disease control as well. Within the hospital then we've got from gerbils up to giraffes. So while a large amount of cases would be the routine cat and dog, we do have quite a significant degree of exotic referral as well. In the first year, the students will be doing practical things like they'll be going out to Lyons Estate Research Farm, learning how to handle animals safely. The UCD Lions Farm is an absolutely important and vital component of what we do here in terms of teaching students. We have a herd of dairy cows out there, we have a sheep flock, we have beef cattle, we have horses out there. And really it allows students, particularly in the early years and first year and second year, to get used to working with animals. Particularly those who have come from an urban background who may not have a farm animal background themselves. In addition to that, we would also spend a lot of time on farms, we are asked to call to farms by veterinarians who have got complex disease problems at the herd level. So we would actually take students out onto dairy farms and sheep farms where there are disease problems to investigate those and hopefully help the veterinarian solve the problem. People and animals are moving about the planet in such a rapid rate and so extensively such that it provides a very good environment for infectious diseases to cross boundaries. And a big paradigm in veterinary medicine now is the global One Health paradigm, which really states the fact that the health of humans, the health of animals and indeed the health of the environment itself are all inextricably linked. So one of the things we stress upon our students is the importance that the food that you eat in the supermarket, the butter that you buy, the yogurt that you buy, it's important that the consumer is aware that those products have come from animals that are healthy, whose welfare is taken care of, and that food safety is a priority. So the whole idea of farm to fork instills a lot of what we do, and it's something that we pay a lot of attention to in terms of teaching our students and the sort of research that we do. It is very academically challenging, but it's also very academically rewarding. What we try and do now is we understand we can't cram everything in. It just isn't feasible from a time point of view to expect them to have lectures and everything. So we teach them to problem solve. From the first year they're in the course, they have problem solving sessions, which are called PBL. And these are designed to actually get the student to fundamentally approach a problem in a very systematic and methodical way, find out the resources that are available to come to terms and find information on that problem, and then implement it. If you have a general interest in science, if you have a natural curiosity about the world and about how biology works, about how animals work and about how diseases spread and so on, then veterinary medicine is a very good degree to take. And our graduates, not only our private practitioners, but many others go on to work with international organisations such as the World Health Organisation. They end up doing research. Some will end up in industry working for pharmaceutical companies and others still work for the Department of Agriculture here.